So now let us go to the system and go to the transaction code FGRP. And now you can see the menu is changed to SAP Easy Access a Report Painter. And you open the report writer and under the report writer go to the library and here before creating I just want to display the existing libraries. You can F4 here to see the library. So here you have a lot many libraries. So let us only filter by our table reporting table. You can see what are all the reporting tables here and ECSS for overhead cost controlling and this is a reconciliation ledger and uh, also this is a database uh, structure for uh, reporting and this is a so now let us go to the CCSS so which is for overhead cost controlling so now I want to see what are all the libraries created using this table so you have many libraries why there is so many libraries created using one table itself so let us go in detail one is for uh, one week which is a cost center reporting and another one is 601 is internal order i will go oh, this library and also this library and show you the comparison uh, for both of them i create another session to show you so gr 23 so 601 and there's other one is one week so now let's go you see after you going to the table you can see this is a component id and this is a table and the library so you can see here characteristics basic key figures key figures this is a history of this and also the use uh, where else uh, this is used you can find it so now you can go to the characteristics so you can see here what are all the characteristics and also let us go click characteristics so now let us compare slowly uh, what is the difference between these two is you can see here so you can see here so here you can see this is a controlling area is common for both and the cost center is the priority here and this is internal order and cost element is same for both so now when you see these two libraries are created and here you can see there's a selection so every report library will work based on the selections made while creating the report yes you can see you can compare the libraries and uh, also for example you want to activate uh, another field uh, in the standard table uh, I don't recommend to change the standard table which is delivered by the SAP so if you want to activate a uh, few fields which is you want to use it for a reporting for example uh, you want to use a debit credit indicator you want to select then yes uh, you can you can uh, come to the you can copy the library and then change it using the change mode so you can save it the changes will be saved so now when it comes to the basic key figures you can see here cost quantity actual actual quantity capacity statistical quantity so these are all uh, having uh, for a basic key figures so key figures you can see here you just uh, check here one is a cost which is SWKG is the cost let us go to the uh, basic key figure when you double click on this you can see what are the combination so here the combination is basic key figure which is SWKG and when it comes to the set you can see the set what is the combination so this is a 
non-numeric uh, value here so you can see the it is they have selected version and also the value type is for for actual data so now i quickly i will show you how to create a library just double click on this and uh, ccss and you can use one vk say z d so this is my library i want to create yes i've given the table and also library so uh, either you can give only one and yes press enter so now go to the characteristics and and i just want to choose these uh, two i just want to save this and uh, only this uh, under characteristics i want to choose additional two characteristics um, and then click save so my library is created so this is a simple steps and uh, how to create please don't uh, create uh, without with re without reference to a standard uh, library you may need to select a lot of uh, fields so i recommend you just use the standard library to copy and create your own library and you can do the reporting using this library thank you